So welcome to another Quick Tip Thursday and today it's going to be a little bit uh, different because today I'm going to talk about some new features inside of DaVinci Resolve 19. So everyone is talking about all of those new features and all the AI tools and all of that. And I saw a video uh, of Patrick Sterling that he was showing some new features inside of DaVinci Resolve Studio and in the shapes. And you talk about that and I went and I downloaded the new version, DaVinci Resolve 19 Beta. And I went and I started to work with those new tools, the S-Text and the S-B-Spline inside of the shapes. And I discovered new features that you can create or new ideas that you can use. And I decided to share it with you. I will leave a link for his video because it, it will explain a lot better those new tools but i want to share my ideas and what you can do with those tools so let's jump in the computer and let me show you how you can use them and create some different things so here is i am inside of the edit page and i already have here a fusion composition i want to click and as you can see it's empty so let's add the s text the new S text and let me add the S render because you have to always use the S render if you are using shapes and now we can connect our S render to our media out and here I have the S text one and as you can see here in the inspector everything is the same as the text plus so let me type here resolve let me change here and let me increase the size so everything is if i put here the text plus the only difference is in here the global in and out that in the the shapes the text uh, shape doesn't add everything else is the same so it's a text plus inside of the shapes so let me delete this and now what can we do with the the new s text so you can combine it with all the other shapes and create some cool stuff. So let me add an S boolean over here. And I'm going to add also an S rectangle. And I'm going to connect it. So now I'm going to select the S boolean and I'm going to come here. It, instead of intersection, I'm going to use a subtract. And immediately it will subtract the letters from the shape the s rectangle so we can create our text uh, cut inside of a shape and also you can use this to convert this to a 3d object so it's very easy let me add here a render 3d let's add here merge 3d let's connect it to over here let's add a camera and a spotlight let's connect this over here and this over here let me connect this over here remove this one let's delete this after this i want to an extrude the 3d add it and connect it to over here and now let's arrange this a little bit better let me put this in the viewer one so let's go to the camera let's move the camera back let's go to the light and let's move the light back let's go to the render and enable lightning shadows and uh, hardware render and as you can see we have here this is it's still in 2d and has come to the extrude and add some depth and immediately you will see uh, that this is in 3d if I come here to the extrude 3D to the transform, for example, and rotate it a little bit, you can see immediately that we have our text carved in the rectangle. So this is an idea of what you can do. But let's delete all of this and add the S render. And let's connect our S render to here. And 
Instead of this, you can come here and instead of subtract, put union and come here to the rectangle and you can offset it a little bit down. And now let me put it like this and let me hide. You can add it like this and now you have just one object here that you can use and you can move it if you after this one uh, add a transform over here now it's only one object that you can move so this is some idea and let me move this here and let's add the new the other new tool the sb spline and here it is and the SP spline is great because now you can create your own let me disconnect here let me connect it here and now let me move this up for example like this and come here and go to the instead of you know, subtract and now you can create your logo, everything with the spline and put the text inside, cut the spline or uh, do whatever you want because now you have a lot of new possibilities to use these tools. And I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot, subscribe to not so fret yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I'll launch a video. Till there, bye. Thank you.